so welcome back to this series and uh, in the last video we have uh, uh, like uh, we have configured here like boot images okay so now what we will do we will uh, distribute these things okay so for that what you will do is just right click here right click here distribution content click the next add the distribution point okay and okay click the next click the next and close same thing you have to be do for here also distribution content add the distribution point here okay okay next next and close it so all things all the prerequisites has been done over here but before that yeah it is success check all these things should be in success uh, yeah this is also a success for the boot image we need to check yeah it is in progress and both of I think it's progress yeah it's in success in 64 still it is in progress yeah it is also success not an issue so what we will do now so we have to go to the task sequence here right but most important thing b didn't done yet so what is that dhcp configurations okay you people uh, you know must be aware with that things like when we uh, you know use the wds uh, dhcp is required because it will boot from the network not you know directly we will install the os so for that we have to install the dhcp role here so for that go to the dashboard add and features click the next 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 and here the DHCP server is there and click the next I'm doing all this thing in a CCM server remember this thing click the next click the next next and register the destinations of automatically if required click yes install so it will take time to you know install all the components all the required things of dhcp uh, so till the time what i will explain you uh, uh, regarding i will give you some idea about the dhcp dhcp is nothing it's a domain host configuration protocol it will assign the ip automatically to your to your environment instead of static okay so if the big organization there are the thousands lakhs of machines are there how can uh, you know guy will l1 engineer l2 engineer will put you know static ip address will be very difficult so dsc server will uh, in this scenario it will you know um, do the flexibility and give this reliably work environment uh, to assign the ip automatically this is what the dscp is doing so same thing we will do for the uh, osd deployment because whenever the osd deployment it should be uh, through pxc i mean through network so the dscp should be configured then only it will work if dscp is not configured it won't be work so remember that things when i check the pxc option at that time it given the 68 port. that port is using for the dscp okay so so till that till that time we have to wait uh, till the time uh, dscp configure okay now it's configured do not forget to when it's complete completed don't close these things because uh, you still it is remaining for the dscp configuration you have to be click these things and do the next and use this following user credential if not you have to be give commit it then creating security group authorizing dscp server done close it close it okay once you close go to the here go to the dhcp server here right click here open the the dhcp manager if you look at here in dhcp manager p version server option nothing is there policies nothing is there filter nothing is there what i will do i will uh, create the new scope here click the next i give the scope name it's my company scope sorry mumbai scope op scope right scope one mumbai scope one you can provide the dscp like so let me before that i can show you so what are the ips i have in ccm server if you check it like uh, what are the ip of ccm server for that ip config right you should be put the command it's a uh, one three so uh, what I will do 
sorry it's 192 to 168 1.3 right 192 to 168 1.12 192 to 168 1.254 correct and the subnet mask will be same and length will be same click the next and here it asking the exclusion and deletes that should not be assigned that which IP you have to excluded here so I will do 192 to 168 .1 from 1 to 190 to 168.1. I will give the um, 20 till 20. The IP should not be assigned after 20. The IP will assign. This is the word exclusion and delay. Okay, and the period should be 8 days because after 8 days it should be automatically, you know, um, lease duration. It will lease for the 8 days. Once the 8 days complete, it automatically again release the new IP. Uh, so this is what the lease durations okay click the next so it is asking the DSU configuration of yes I say no I will late I will show you why I am say no uh, here I will need to configure something for this WDS that's what click the next and finish once the finish the scope is created here but it it, it is red mark if you look at here just uh, expand it if you look at it, it's a red mark for that you need to active this scope uh, for the activation you can right click and active here otherwise this is the option here you can click it will active so now the scope is active now the scope is active remember okay so again it's this part is done now so what I will do we what we there like uh, give here right so boot image let's check everything is done yeah it also success it also success go to the task sequence here uh, for the task sequence uh, to creating the task sequence you have to be you know uh, capture the image how you capture the image in task sequence so for that just click over the task sequence and go to the create task sequence media okay just one second okay okay not an issue yeah uh, so here whenever click the trust task sequence media these are the medias through you can capture the image but I use only the capture media here and click the next once you click the next it asking the media file where the media files are there so what you will do go to the browse so read carefully specify the name and path where the output files will be written if the multiple uh, pieces of media are required a sequence numbers will be append to the name of each uh, pieces of media so go to the browse and here go to the deployment in the OS so I have copy over here right so I need to create another folder it's capture media C A P T U R E capture capture OS sorry capture OS okay so here I can select save so I need to give the uh, you know ISO file names and which name I should save so I can give uh, anything like uh, uh, win 7 capture okay so it will the file will become as the dot ISO format save and click the next and here asking the boot image and distribution point for the boot image you have to select the boot image I can select boot image 64 okay and distribution point also you need to give select here once this thing select done then you click the next next it will take some time uh, to complete these things uh, because the boot image will added over here in this file uh, windows 7 capture dot iso or oh, if you cancel it then it might be a problem it's showing the done but it's still it is not done remember see it is started now so here it will take some time to complete this thing because entire that WMI file I choose right so it will creating this so if you go to here go to the C drive go to the deployment here and go to the OS folder capture is right so it will create here yeah see now it is creating so definitely it will take time because still it's one percent five percent only so we'll take a lot of time to create these things okay now the file is came and it's showing like uh, uh, two five two I mean 
2 GB is something approximately 2.5 GB it's showing not an issue now it's created successfully okay just refresh it it's done right so close it and close it now do not cancel at that time it's showing that done right so what you will do here now we have done the captured image right what are the task you can we have done the capture image right okay so here what we will do for the capturing the image this is the file we have created but how we can mount this thing sorry and go to the c deployment os and capture os how we can mount these things in our client machines it cannot be right uh, from the ccm so what i will do uh, i will copy these things to uh yeah i can do one thing i have share folder here no it's not completed yeah. okay so what i will do i just share this folder here go to the settings okay and go to the options here it's very good options are there in the vmware workstation this is a very good uh, application i always use it that's what i'm telling uh, so here the share folder option disable is enable it and i already added this thing no so just press ok okay now it's done so open the share folder uh, in the share folder scm stuff right so here uh, what i will do i will create a new folder that is sorry i just rename it capture image okay capture image and copy it here so it will take you know uh, some time because it's 3 gb almost right so it's done because the iso format that is the reason it's done immediately but other format it should take time right it's a compressible format okay now it's done so now i can easily mount this thing here in the client machine so first of thing what i will do here see uh, for this my secure perspective what i will do i will uh, take the snapshot of these machines because i have done all these things right if anything goes wrong they can, again then we'll reconfigure it so what i will do i just close this all these things here okay so uh, i can take the snapshot uh, okay take snapshot i will sync before ost deploy okay don't forget to take the snapshot because snapshot is very important in the environment because if anything goes wrong you have to revert back these things right this is what uh, i also prefer every time okay once you've done these things what i will do yeah it's taking the snapshot yeah i think it's done no, still it is not okay go to the client machine here yeah, still it is uh, you know taking the snapshot. This is a very important, guys. Uh, you know, um, because uh, without snapshot, if you work, you cannot work properly. Because uh, after uh, deployment to the OS, if anything goes wrong, you cannot do anything <laughs> if you don't have a snapshot. Again, you have to be rework it. Okay, so better to take the snapshot. Okay, so snapshot has been taken. So you go to the client machine here okay in the client machine uh, you need to mount these things capture the image go to the settings in the client machine okay and here go to the cd drive and use the ios image. go to the browse browse go to the all os or ccm stuff and i have a capture image i given the name where is that yeah capture image image press open okay okay now now it is done it will give the pop off otherwise what i will do you can open this thing and yeah here and click over the computer Yeah, auto run if not come so if you click these things the it will start okay. Okay. 
I'm just closing so it will start the cap yeah it's taking time no it's not for it is time it should not be other can start you can do here no something is doing easy with some work that's doing but I don't know why here also. what are this is uh application the task is ordered on wait for this time okay still it is running so we wait okay that's what that time what 